the Knicks. Because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. Alright, so today I want to talk about, since it's like the last week of, of Black History Month slash Valentine's Day, just why I look like this, red hair, then the face paint, whatever. Well, this video is mostly about like relationships, so um, not even relationships, um, it just comes to my attention that, you know, I feel like... I feel like as a person you shouldn't don't chase after somebody that is not making an effort to chase after you or be with you. You know, I see too many sorry you know people who are either hoes or fuck boys or whatever, you know, having, you know, a significant other and somebody who's being down for them. I feel like, you know, because you know I can give you examples and stories, so, of course, names have to be changed, so, um, there's a certain people that I used to hang out with, um, I'm gonna call the girl, Lady, Lady M, and then I'm gonna call the guy, <clears throat> fuck boy, because that's what he was. Alright, so, this is kind of like a story time, so... Um, Lady M, she's always been very faithful to fuck boys. She's always, you know, okay, because they used to be like in a relationship, but like they're not in one anymore. But like she still wants to be with him, and he clearly has no intention of being with her. And but she's always like pleasing, you know, pleasing him. She's always buying him stuff and like and when you know and he completely talks to her like trash most of the time he even one time got mad and said like right in front of her you know like how you like you try to you indirectly talk to someone you uh like i'm trying to talk i'm talking to you but i'm talking about this other person he even said oh you know you swear that um um you swear you know like chicks you know, the things, you know, they get jealous when they see other girls, you other girls, but the thing about it is, you know, they don't know that you fucking them and you fucking other chicks. You know, and you can tell she was off in her feelings about it. Because we was going to the mall, and all, all, all um, four of us, we was going to the mall, and, you know, she cooled down, and then she was, then she got back in her submissive way. Oh, yeah, you want something? Oh, yeah, let me buy you something. And I'm like, what the fuck? And like this, and then he told his other friend, "Oh yeah, you know, see that's how you do it. You gotta have them on check." And with her knowing all of this, Lady M, she still does whatever it is. You know, they just went to Vegas. You know, like she's all, and this fool is a true fuck boy. He always talks a lot of shit. He has nothing going on for him, but. A head full of hair gel and, and some flashy clothes, you know, and you live in poverty. <laughs> and you know, she still, she even turns down dates. Like, why are you catering to a person who does not like you like that? At, you know, I can understand, but at some point in time, you gotta just give it up, turn it loose, find something better. You're just basically being a personal whore. And, you know, I see this going on with a lot of people trying to please or be with somebody who is not really worth your time. Sometimes the things that you want is not the things that you need. And sometimes when you get it, it's not even what you expect it to be. I'm not saying any relationship or anything is going to be perfect, but you have to respect yourself enough to be with the person who actually respects you. You know, is like Jay-Z said one of his songs if that man doesn't want to stay he's not going to stay no matter what you do and this isn't just talking to you know ladies it's also talking to fellows I'm talking about you know everyone I see a lot of dudes who be with chicks who's just using them for a paycheck now so some dudes that's cool but if you actually want to be in love if you're actually in love with somebody that's different and 
like one of the guys that I know, he actually came to a center <clears throat> and he dumped that chick a long time ago. So, but it took him a while because that was his high school sweetheart, you know. But she was just a bitch. And I don't mean bitches in the female sense, I mean bitches in just, you know, evil. Because I don't think all women are bitches. So, um, yeah, that's just my um, whole take on that, you know. <clears throat> A person who just doesn't want to be there, or never want to be there in the first place, or they half assing it, or like when you got money, they only want to be there, you know. And then when they don't, they gone. <laughs> you need to X them people out, freeze them. And this is it's not about relationships, this is just about um, friendships as well, you know. And don't be desperate and gullible just to accept anything, because you do deserve better. You know, just don't accept anything, because everything that's handed to you, you, you shouldn't take. Alright, so any comments, questions, concerns? Um, anything you want me to talk about? Until then, this has been your boy. Oh, and P.S. This just, um, like I say, you know, no one's perfect. Everyone is going to go through stuff in relationships. You know, you know, you're going to go through your stuff or, or whatever. But um, I'm just, generally speaking, like I'm saying, if you're chasing after a person who just doesn't um, have any interest in you and they're just using you as some free ass, free pussy, free dick, uh, <laughs> or a free paycheck is what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. So this isn't to bash anybody or not saying you, you shouldn't work it out, but if you with the person who cheated on you more than once it's time to give up uh, turn it up give up turn it loose because obviously that person has no respect for you that's what I was getting at or people who just constantly talk shit put you down um, yeah I'll be talking about more about friendship other stuff uh, in another video um, but yeah that's, that's what I was getting at so yeah Peace.